Good morning, folks. We're looking at the sun, organic compounds found in very different places in space, a new way to model solar eruptions, and more. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a calm last 24 hours on our star. We did have a few plasma filaments destabilize on the eastern limb, but they were unable to produce any measurable ejecta. Meanwhile, off the western limb, we did see a small CME leave 90 degrees off Earth's trajectory, as we also peek in on Mercury swinging around back there behind the sun, huge glare. Getting a more detailed energetic look in 304 angstroms reveals no significant activity at the two sunspot groups, which are now turning out of view towards the right. You see filaments standing tall and writhing in the corona, but they manage to maintain their positions for the most part. Solar wind is calm at Earth right now, but within 24 hours we do expect impact from a fast stream of that dark coronal hole. We also expect aurora and geomagnetic storm activity. Moving on now to Rosetta in Comet 67P. Many have heard the stories about its organic compounds, and indeed that is the case on many comets. Well now, they found the same compounds in a dark, dusty, gaseous, nebulous region of space that is in its early star formation processes. They conclude that it is the stars somehow producing the organic molecules and not a signature of life out there. But then again, stars making organic compounds is a bit of a wow in its own right. New 3D modeling of CMEs is a step in the right direction. With the still coronagraph images, you can easily tell what they are aiming to one day produce as a real-time model. A caveat to that excitement, however, is that one of their animations appears to cling to a kinetic-based solar wind plasma flow when we keep learning and observing that it must be magnetohydrodynamic. Folks, my wife, our CEO, Katherine Davidson, has been working on a children's book for months. The care and diligence has been so impressive. At one point, a publisher even told her it was the best kid's first book he'd seen this year. Available for pre-order now, guaranteed delivery in time for the holidays, and the first hundred people to get the book get a Kira and Lulu sun button for the kids as well. We'll be updating the planetary positions for the month in a few hours for website members over at suspiciousobservers.org. Coming up, we've got the world's wind maps, null school, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.